Hi guys and welcome to the Austin Filming Adventures 6, episode 37, part 2 of Disney's California Adventure. Yes. We had a lot to talk about last time if we had to make it into two episodes or it would have been way over an hour, huh? So we got through most of the park last time, but there's some major things that we still did while we were there. And one of them was soaring. And we were excited because at DCA, we were there for their, kind of like their food and wine. Mm -hmm. So they did soaring over California. Which is the original soaring. Yeah, Sorin. which we haven't seen for over 10 years. And I don't and think the kids had ever seen ever, it. No, mm -mm. that was the first time they ever I saw it. I only them. saw it in like a POV. Yeah, in the POV. Never so. real life. So that was pretty exciting to get to see Soren again. And uh, that was kind of over in the Redwood Creek area. Grizzly Peak area, yeah. yeah. There was a Redwood um, trail. Yeah, oh, a yeah. challenge trail. Yeah, we did do the challenge trail. What's all on that? Um, so they have a zip line that I did send a POV to Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the, the zip, zip line. line. And all the kids were able to do the zip line <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. I mean, you guys are going pretty fast, and then yeah. you hit the edge, and you fly up. I thought for sure Simon was going to fly yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be Abby, actually. Yeah. But, yeah. but then uh, then they had, like, all these climbing courses mm -hmm. that you could do. They had all these slides. slides. Yeah, and they were kind of themed like you were sliding through the trunk of a tree. Yeah, or, like, down a mountainside. Right, mm -hmm. and uh, we spent a good maybe hour mm -hmm. in that area and it's just a nice place for them to run burn off some energy mm -hmm. they had some small slides that micah yeah. man could mm -hmm. uh, enjoy another cool thing is that um sometimes they have character meet and greets there yep they do. yeah raya meets close to there huh yeah and uh we did see um judy hops and nick wild and nick wild close Zotopia. by as well yeah, yeah. And, uh, I'm pretty but, sure it was on our way there. Yeah, yeah, yep. There was a cave in there that you could learn your spirit animal, mm -hmm. and I mean, probably a four-story climbing structure. Uh, and, yeah, three, three or four story. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it was, it, it was, was a nice fun. Place. It was really fun. And you, you kind of felt a little comfortable just letting them have some space yeah. and let them run around. You, you knew they weren't going to get out of there. There were some groups there that were yeah. doing like a. A learning thing, so that's pretty sounds, cool. And there was one cool. entrance in and out, and it was there was yeah. a cast member at the entrance. So, so if yeah. a kid was running out, no way. I think that they yeah. would stop them if they no didn't escaping. have a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, but that's over in the Grizzly Peak area, which also houses the like the entrance right. to the Grand Californian Resort. Yeah, right? the Grand Californian Resort is beautiful. Yeah, um, we kind of walked around the lobby just a little bit, mm -hmm. um, and as DC. DVC members yeah. that is where right now the only place that they have DVC right. at Disneyland Resort so yep, they have a little I don't know what that lounge was but it gave me Geyser Point vibes uh, uh, right outside of uh, the pool area there uh, the Hearthstone Lounge yes yeah, yeah. yeah that gave me vibes of it too that's yeah. exactly what it reminded me of mm -hmm. but we didn't eat there, but we ate at one of probably, I think, the best meals that we mm -hmm. had, yeah. and that was Storytellers, yeah. and we did that for dinner. Do you remember Storytellers? Yeah, yeah. so good. So it good. was a buffet-style restaurant, yeah. um, and at dinner time there are no characters, but they do have a lunch and a brunch that do have characters, right. Chip and Dale, Goofy, and I Mickey think and Minnie. Mickey and Minnie, yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, but we did dinner. Um, and it was really great food. They had it a was. carving station. They had they had two meats on the carving station. Yeah, and I don't think it was anything like super outrageous or unique, but it was just really well done food. Yeah, and like a lot of times with buffet, you get a lot of dried out stuff mm -hmm. and, and stuff with and, not much flavor. But this was everything was juicy. It was it was fresh. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. we had one of the first seatings. We did. So, yeah, we were one um, of the first. People but in. it was. I mean, the food was exceptionally good, especially for so a buffet, good. right? So, good. Yeah. so, what was your favorite thing on it? Do you remember? They're pretty much everything. I really like their their small burgers. Oh, oh yeah, they they little mini this, burgers yeah. from the kids. So you egg. could um, um, order something specific, like we ordered uh, the corn the chowder, corn chowder, to one of their signature dishes. There like, was a grilled cheese yeah. with the parmesan. It had like it the had sliders. Like, yeah, it had like cheese on top of it. Yeah. Both on the outside and the inside, huh? Yeah. I kind of like that because sometimes at, like, the nicer restaurants, the kids' buffets are not the greatest because it sits there for a while. But a lot of the kids' food that you could special order, and they brought it out on platters, 
um, so that you knew yeah. the kids were getting fresh food that had yep. been sitting for a while. And we definitely had our fill that night. Yes. And yes. We also did that with the World of Color. So yeah. it's a little bit different than Disney World where you have to uh, reserve ahead. But this time, you just tell them when yeah. you're there. When you check in, you Machine. just say, I would like to do the World of Color seating package. And they ask you what show of World of Color you'd like to go to, the earlier, the later. We opted for the early one. And honestly, the price difference was not a huge amount. Um, I want to say it was like 7 to $10 more a person for the World of Color seating. And it might have been a little bit less for the kids. Um, but you got tickets to a special area for world of color yeah, and then you, macaroons. yeah we got little oh, boxes yeah. little treat boxes to take with us that had three macarons in it um we per person per person yeah, yeah. We, so we enjoyed that in the yeah. hotel. <laughs> <laughs> we did we didn't end up eating them that night but we ate them back so around. we we went to the first viewing of world of color mm -hmm. and we were a little bit late getting there because we did soaring after dinner but yeah you know it was nice because where we got in you know, everyone was sitting down and like, this is perfect. This is great. But just so you know, right before the show starts, they make everybody stand up. Mm -hmm. And then we were in trouble because we were, we, we were kind of in the yeah. middle. And we had moved further back because we had the stroller and right. we were letting the kids run around. And then once everybody stood up. It was hard to see. It was hard so to see. So Simon was already asleep. Noah, were you able to see much? Oh, uh, yeah. I was able to see him. He kind of got yeah. in between people. Yeah. Abby was kind of... I was holding her up for as long as I could. Yeah, and I was that holding Micah. And you had Micah. So yeah. I think Gina, she she really enjoyed the show because this was the first time she saw the new one. Yeah. Um, so as an adult, you could see pretty much everything, but it was hard for the kids to see. Right. So, so even so, if you do do the World of Color seating at one of the restaurants, you still do need to get get there early. quite a bit early so that you can get one of the front row seats for the, the special viewing area. Yeah. But you are actually in front of the where they seat the de dessert, dessert party. party. So yeah. your viewing is a little bit closer than the dessert party. Yep. And for us, the dessert party was kind of out of our budget. <laughs> yes, for sure, yes. Yeah. So, well, the area that you see World of Color, which is, was a great show, was in... Paradise Gardens Park, uh -huh. which is actually very close to one of Noah's favorite and areas. We'll there. There, they have a <laughs> Little Mermaid <laughs> Under the Sea, which is it's, it's pretty pretty identical. Much a ride. Yep, yeah. it's identical. Actually, I think the Disney World one's a little bit better because the queue is themed to the ride, whereas this was yeah, kind of inserted in another but, building. Um, but I have this as a relief. The Ariel was working. Ariel oh. was working, yes. <laughs> yep, that was good. And then uh, the Golden Zephyr was there, and then they right. also had the Jellyfish right. Jumpers. Yeah, yeah the Golden Zephyr was different. That's an old ride. Yeah. And, uh, it's a cool thing. It's always Jumpin' Jellyfish. Yep, Jumpin' Jellyfish. You guys like that It was one. all of our first um, parachute rides. Yep, mm. parachute ride. Yep. They have their corn dog castle there. Yeah. So that one had a long line like every time we were by it. But <laughs> mobile order, mobile order never had a line. Yep. Um, but and also then, one of the kids' favorite rides. The, Goofy Sky School. Yeah, so the Goofy Sky School, it's one of the Lightning Lane uh, rides that you can get out there with Genie Plus. Um, but it, it was one of those rides where multiple times that when we came back from the lightning lane, the lightning lane was out of the queue <laughs> and it was like 45 minutes to 20 minutes, you know, anywhere from there. Kind now they crazy. made the, the, the standby lane, they would put it at 110 minutes Yeah. and there was actually nobody in that standby lane, yeah. but they weren't letting anyone go through because there were so many lightning lanes. Yes. So. I don't know what their problem is with that ride, <laughs> but they cannot figure out lightning Just be aware that if you that get a lightning lane, I think that was probably one of the rides we waited the longest for, yeah. for lightning lane the whole trip. Right. And it's so. a fun ride, but it's it's not, uh, it's I, not I wouldn't say it's worth that, that wait. So, yeah. all right. Now, that was the Paradise Gardens Park. I always thought that this area that we're about to talk about now was the same as Paradise Gardens. Yeah, so. yeah, but... Once you walk over, you get onto some sort of a boardwalk pier area. What was that? Paradise Pier. Pixar, Pixar Pier. pier. <laughs> <laughs> it used yeah, to be yeah, there. It was it by the Paradise be. Pier Resort. <laughs> and why do you like Pixar Pier so much, Noah? It has one of my favorite rides ever. And what was your favorite ride ever? The Incredicoaster. The Incredicoaster, yes. So, Noah is a coaster connoisseur. But he didn't ride all the coasters because they had what? Me. Inversions. Inversions, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he had never done an upside down roller coaster yet. 
until today, yeah. huh, right? Uh, like a month ago. Well, until, <laughs> yeah. And how was it? It was amazing. All right, everybody. Noah did the Incredicoaster, which means he's done his first upside down on a roller coaster. This is his reaction. He has no idea I'm videotaping right now. How was it? Good. Was it bad? Good. It was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. It's no big deal All to go nice upside down. I, exactly. What you tell dad you are now? A full grown man. <laughs> full grown man. <laughs> so now he's super excited because you can ride all kinds of rides now. Cedar so. Point's opening in like two in like a month. So. Yep, and you're yeah. and you're ready to go on some of those new rides. So, uh, Pixar Pier has a lot of great theming there. Um, we have a couple of other rides that we rode. We rode the Carousel, which was Critter Carousel. Yeah, Jesse's uh, Critter Carousel. Um, we also did um, the Toy Story Mania, which pretty much is identical to the one in Hollywood yeah. Studio. Yeah. Yep. And then we also, they had, I think, one of my favorite. I don't know what it's called, but it was the Ferris wheel that had the yeah, skinny the, and the, the Pixar yeah. Pal around. Yeah, yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. It had the swinging buckets and it was a lot of fun. Yep. yep. And then uh, they also had just kind of like a balloon ride, but it was... Um, it was the Emotional Whirlwind. Yeah, yeah. Emotional Whirlwind. <laughs> so it was about Inside Out. And we couldn't decide if we wanted the sparkly or the angry. So we went with disgust because nobody <laughs> wanted to be in that one. So we rode the disgust. Yeah. I mean, Abby likes green and I like green, so... Well, yeah, it worked out. So we had fun. And we were lucky because... Right after we got off of that, it broke down and those yeah. people were hanging in the air for a while. And yeah. it was a long line. It was. So I think Pixar Pier was probably our one of our favorite, favorite rides. Yes. There. You mean Pixar Pier favorite lands? Favorite lands. Yeah. But <laughs> I think the theming is better yes. in Radiator Springs. Um, yeah, Campus. that we talked about last episode. Yeah, and I think Avengers Campus has some more excitement in there yeah. with the characters. There were a few characters in Pixar Pier, but it's kind of a tight Yeah, we did get to meet Bo Peep, and she was in her Toy Story 4 yeah. costume, so she had, like, her pants and her right. yeah, well, cape yeah. on. That was kind of cool. Um, we saw Frozone. We didn't get to meet him, but we saw him, and we saw Mr. Incredible. So yeah. that was kind of fun. It was a unique area that we don't have in right. world i mean there is toy story land so much but of, it's not pixar there's so much opportunity we also yeah. um we also all get that got to have a jack jack cookie num num oh yes. my goodness <laughs> the jack jack cookie num nums we they, had two of them actually i'm pretty sure they ate more than that so <laughs> that really good, so. We, and then i got one of my favorite treats of the whole trip trip was the churro toffee yes, um, yes. that originated on pixar pier but you can get it in other locations yeah. now but it was, and you can get it in a gift shop. And since it's in a gift shop, shop if you have discounts, you can use the twenty percent discount nice. instead of the ten percent. There you so, go. Good. Yeah. Good. Good tip there. So yeah. we did go shopping while we were on Pixar Pier. Mm -hmm. um, what was that place called? I can't remember what it was called, but it was all themed to. It was the Nick Nats. Nick, Nats, Nick Nats, yeah, because yes, it was yeah. the snowman snow globe. Yeah. <laughs> so we uh, got ourselves a new cocoa mug. Since that which, was Pixar. Uh, yeah, so that was Pixar. So we got a nice new cocoa it's mug. Got some really pretty artwork on um, it. It's kind of a like speckled that. pottery. We yeah. have a like just a Day of the Dead type cocoa yeah. one, but this one gives more characters. And then I think one of Abby's favorite. Souvenirs that we got from one of our favorite movies. It's adorable. It's a dirty red. And it has a giant tail. But and it's huge. You're going to drink a lot of coffee when you have this one. So. Instead of doing the middle... Was, instead of doing the middle, the middle thing, you're probably going to have to do the giant thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The giant, giant thing. Yep. So, yep. those are the two mugs that we got from mm -hmm. Pixar Pier. Now... Yep. All right, so one of the good places that we got to eat was Lamplight Lounge in mm -hmm. Pixar Pier. And that's one of the hardest reservations to get in the whole Disneyland Resort. And we were able to snag a, a large party reservation for 4.30. Yep. Um, so we didn't do full meals. We just did their appetizers. Which... So we got the, the lobster nachos, mm -hmm. which were 
Amazing. And it's huge. They're huge portions. So definitely okay. shareable. And we got some potato. Um, they were like their versions rounds. of loaded potato bites, but they yeah. were almost like a Yeah, big they called them potato skins. Potato didn't they? skins, yes. But they were they were not like what you would think they mm -mm. were. No, they were almost like a large like a hash brown almost. Yeah, they look like crab cakes. They had yeah. like in and, they had like in and out sauce or something. I and it know. had all it the delicious. fillings inside of it and they were really good. They they pan, almost like pan fried them yeah. on a flat top. And then we also, I think they're known for their mini donuts. And mm -hmm. so their mini donuts this uh, month were the cookies and cream. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. the kids really did a number on those. Yes, they, those <laughs> are really good. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought Lamplight Lounge was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, like I said, we, we, we didn't do any entrees mm -mm. because Gina got us... Reservations at the Magic Keyholder Terrace. Yeah, and this was at Wine Country Trattoria, um, which is kind of at the entrance to Pixar Pier and Paradise Gardens. Um, and it was on the second story of yeah. the special entrance for Magic Key Holders, and that's where we ate dinner. Yeah, and we were super thrilled to get to do that, and we thank Gina a lot for getting yes. us in there. And thank so you. the the mm -hmm. kids, uh, I think Simon had some pizza. Yeah, he right? got his cheese pizza. Yeah. <laughs> it was um, kind of big. And Noah got the Noah got one of the most expensive things, which were the um, short, the, rib, short sliders. rib sliders. Yeah, yep. and of and course you had to have the the in and out sauce. Yeah, know, there was like some it. sauce on it. And didn't like, so Dad got to finish that. Mm -hmm. What else came with that? There was uh, you got a big watermelon drink. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I got the choo choo. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so their their drinks were kind of uh, themed to old um, Disneyland or Disney kind of things so yeah. his was something about the choo-choo but yeah what did you get Daddy? i got the charcuterie board that's right and that yeah. was a really good charcuterie yeah, board it was gina got uh the bone marrow mac and cheese yes. which was a fancy looked really nice yeah. and good yeah um and, and then, then i got monte cristo corn dogs yes. which were interesting, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so is um if a monte cristo is a battered you know turkey and cheese sandwich um, they take the corn dogs and they kind of chop the dogs up and they put it into like a sweet batter. Yeah. And so it wasn't like a full dog inside. You kind of got b bits and pieces of it here and there. And then. And cheese. And, and there yeah, was, was cheese. cheese. Yes. And then typically with a Monte Cristo, you get some kind of berry compote to dip it into. Well, they put the berry compote on top of them, which kind of made them a little soggy. Um, but I, they had a good flavor. Um, they were, they were, were big. There was a yeah. lot of them. And I forget, did they have fries with mine? I think there was fries. Because I think I yeah. gave those to the boys. Oh. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if I would get them again, but I'm glad I tried them. Yeah. Um, the Ma, yeah. Um, the Monte Cristo, um, but I think the normal Monte Cristo was kind of better. The, yes, the, the traditional Monte Cristo yeah. is definitely better. You had better. a blue bayou, yeah. you like that yeah. one better. And Abby had a cheeseburger, and that was super yummy. Yeah. And she got to share some of the pizza with Simon and right. Micah. So, yeah. So that's basically our DCA trip overall. We really enjoyed DCA. Yeah. It, it's, it's a fun park. Um, a lot of rides. Mm -hmm. um, I liked it because, things. yeah, it had a lot of unique things that we don't get on our, you know, regular trips to Disney World, the right. Avengers Campus, the yeah. Cars Land. It was my here. favorite park that we went to. Really? Good. <laughs> yeah. Food was fantastic. Yeah. No complaints there. Uh, the, the nighttime show was good. It, it, overall, great park. We yeah. had a good time, right? Yeah. Yeah. I look yeah. forward to going back again and just kind of going slow and kind of really checking out some of the details in some of the lands when we don't feel like we have to kind of do everything every time we're there. Yep. Yeah. So. so. All right. Well, what do we got to talk about next? Ooh. Next videos have to be about what? Disneyland. Disneyland. Yes, we got to get that one out soon. So <laughs> we've been super busy. So yes. we'll get that one out Trust soon. Us. But Trust us, we'll, we'll try it, to get it it'll as fast as possible. It'll probably be a two-parter, too. Oh, three-parter. <laughs> yeah. so. All right, bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye for now.
with this thought. It's just been a sort of dress rehearsal. We're just getting started. One. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.